400 years ago, French philosopher Pierre Gassendi calculated the speed of sound. He observed a cannon from a considerable distance. He timed the interval between seeing the cannon's flash and the arrival of the sound. Dividing distance by time, he arrived at a value of 478 meters per second significantly faster than the currently accepted value of 343 meters per second, but not bad considering he was working with 17th century technology. Today it is possible to determine the speed of sound using a piece of equipment many of us have in our homes, a video camera. Digital video cameras are capable of recording both a visual and audio event and time stamping each event. Let's determine the speed of sound. I don't have a black powder cannon, so we'll use a simple clapper. Two flat pieces of wood, clapping together to create a sound. A calm windless day is best for this demonstration. Start by establishing a distance between the camera and the clapper. With a tape measure, we laid out a baseline of 400 feet. That's 122 meters. We will use metric units in this calculation. With the camera on a tripod and focused on the clapper, we're ready to start. Start recording and bang the clapper together. Do this a couple of times, it will give you more data to work with. Your captured video will look and sound like this. Note there is a slight interval between the moment of contact and the arrival of the sound. Load the video file onto your computer and open it in some editing software. Any editing software that displays the video and audio track along with a frame count will work. I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. The display looks like this. These lines indicate the frames and this view screen displays the frames contents. My camera captures video at 60 frames per second, meaning that each frame represents 1 60th of a second. In decimal notation, that is 0 0.017 seconds. We need to determine which frame captured the exact moment the clap occurred. Moving forward one frame at a time, we can see the clapper starting to move. The two boards contact here. This is frame number 28 on this short video clip. Inspecting the audio track, we can see a spike representing the arrival of the sound. Moving forward to this spike, we can see it occurred at frame number 50. This frame includes the peak sound. Subtracting 28 from 50, determines that an interval of 22 frames passed from observing the clap to hearing it. Each frame represents 0 0.017 seconds, so 22 times 0 0.017 gives us an elapsed time of 0.374 seconds. To calculate the speed of sound, we divide the distance the sound traveled, 122 meters, by the time, 0.374 seconds. This gives us a result for the speed of sound as 326.2 meters per second, close to the published value of 343.2 meters per second, as measured at standard temperature. That's 20 degrees Celsius. It turns out that air temperature has a significant effect on the speed of sound. The temperature on the day we completed this demonstration was minus 7 degrees Celsius. The published speed of sound at minus 7 degrees Celsius is 326.9 meters per second. Our result is within a fraction of a percent of this published value. That is an impressive result. If you attempt to do this yourself, pick a calm day and use the longest possible baseline. You may find your video camera only captures video at 30 frames per second. 60 frames per second is preferable, but 30 will work. For more science and technology projects and videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com.